Welcome, friends. I'm Jory Karen. I have some bad news for all of you at home. Um, if there are any children in the room, they should probably leave now. Or watch. That, that works, too. The bad news is that Helga is dead. If you may not have seen it from last week's episode, here's a brief clip. Wow, look at that go. Oh, holy crap. Sounds like someone just died in there. <laughs> That's about when she bit the dust. It's tragic, I know. But, there's some good news. I already purchased two more microwaves, so there will be no delay to your microwaving enjoyment, pleasure, you sick freaks. So, let's take a look at, is it a good idea to microwave bubblegum? Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is our number one concern. That's why we have this giant tinfoil shield. It's to protect our nuts, because nobody likes roasted nuts. We also have these masks and goggles to protect the appropriate parts of the body. And, not as always, we have our GE turntable microwave oven. I named her Lacey because she's petite. And kinda cute. I think so. Okay, so, open up this microwave, and in goes the bubble gum. Like that. Oh, that is a firm seal right there. Jory Karen bubble gum the seal of approval. And let's just close that. Okay, now let's just back up. I can see that glow from here. Ooh, oh, uh, look how pretty and new that is. Ooh. Oh, it fell over. Alrighty. The excitement begins. Mm. And so it does, my Lacey's friend. first experiment, a roll of bubblegum 10 feet long. It might have been expecting, like, uh, a Hot Pocket or a hot burrito. Pocket. Instead, it's got bubblegum. Hot Pocket. <laughs> it's but like no. a bubblegum pancake. It knows you're coming, Joey. It just wants to get out mm. of the way. Yeah. It's almost like a bubblegum sticky bun right now. Okay, now it's just like a giant pancake again. The big giant pancake. I think it's bubbling too. You think it's still good? Should we do the taste? Well, this mic was actually clean. You probably could technically eat it. I didn't technically clean it, so I'm not going to technically do anything to it, actually. <gasps> that is going to be one sticky mess to clean up. Mm-hmm. Like, what else is new? That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. Let's get in there and see what happens to that. Oh, that's a refreshing smell. Like cotton candy on the boardwalk. I remember it like it was yesterday. Exactly. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. that remember, is... remember how you asked me if I want, would like eat it? Um, and I Dude, said it looks no. like a giant pepperoni. That's phenomenal. It's like burnt caramel. That is a new pizza. That's what that is. Look, it's a pizza. Oh, Lord. Lord, oh my goodness. Uh, that is not a fun consistency. Oh my. If you're wondering what it's like. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks kind of like caramel and maple syrup mixed together. Um, with, with, and it smells like cotton candy. For those wondering, uh, I wish we could broadcast smells from this show. YouTube, hear, hear you my have, plea. You have no idea what we're smelling right we've, now. We've thrown down the, uh, the gauntlet. You will, you will try and make this broadcast smell. So it's not a good idea to microwave bubblegum. You'll turn pink and happy bubblegum into brown, stinky, kind of like the shit's bubblegum. <laughs> so that's it for, is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Jory Karen. Let's take a look at how they microwave bubblegum. Oh, that out of it didn't, even, it. it didn't even pop that bubble. It's not even warm. Is the microwave still working?